Hey there everybody, this is Aaron, and um, I just created a tutorial video on this, but um, it, it wasn't quite what I wanted, so I'm creating another one here. Um, I'm not sure if they'll get spliced together, so just be careful if the video kind of jumps around a little bit. Um, what I'm basically going to show you in this video is how to set up a basic webs.com website, and how to really use it to an advanced note and um just just some cool little features that i found in there that um just make it so make it so much easier to personalize sorry about that i scare myself a little bit so first of all i've created a website um and what i actually started out with was my my dashboard and you can have multiple websites on here this is my main website that i usually use but today i'm going to use this test site and basically it, it guides you through the setup process. You just go create a new site, um, and you name it something, and you give it a title, and you give it a category, and you you pick a template. You agree. You continue. It gives you the site. It asks you what you want. You go create my site, and about five seconds later, it asks you this: Do you want a package? If you want to pay a little bit more money for more storage or more web items. Um, or maybe a custom email address, whatever, you can do that stuff. I just go with the free package. And now we have this, and it's going to ask you to, to build it. Um, well, I don't even want to mess around with that site, so what I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to my tutorial site. Um, and basically, you can edit your homepage, and the first thing it will ask you to do is create a content box. And it will also ask you if you want to watch the video. Now, what I already have going on here is, uh, let, let's just get rid of this content box altogether. There we go, okay. So what we can have is we can have on our homepage a welcome. And I'm not typing in all caps, it's just a, doing that by itself. You can say, welcome to our page, we are glad you came, whatever. Okay? Now, say you wanted a title that was marqueeing or scrolling across here. Um, you could actually go up and create an HTML file. Um, and I have a couple HTML codes and here we have all the color codes. So like 30, you know, all these colors are coded. So you can create email links and there's a whole bunch on this website. And this is my, this is a great website right here. It's called hackspc.com forward slash cool dash HTML dash codes slash um there's there's a lot of cool ones and it gives you a lot of um examples you know and you can create logo texts with html and html is a very powerful language um this is the one i'm going to use today is the scrolling marquee text um so what you can figure out is you can you can use this um you can use uh, their generators, and these are pretty cool. This takes you to another website, and basically, you can put a web a marquee. This is bounce left, whatever. So basically, this is what you want it to say, and uh, this is a cool website. It's called htmlbasics.com forward slash marquee, um, and some other stuff. Yeah. So let's just say welcome to my site or our site or you can make it an image um, you say how wide you want it how high you want it so like 2 by 7 I don't even know right now um, make it a link onto something you can, not have, you can have it open another window whatever you want it to be 6, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Oops. Um, your font type, all that good stuff. Um, you know, um, a bunch of border stuff. And then you generate it, and it gives you the code right there. There's your code for it. You can copy that and come right on over here, put it right there, insert it, and in your, whoops, you can't do it in your welcome box. But basically, you have to put it here, insert it, you can... Um, oh, 
hate this sometimes when I okay let's just say okay let's kind of get back publishing or whatever whatever you want to do I'm going to continue editing please okay you know let me work on it now probably not Uh, I'm not sure why this isn't working. Hang on. Go back and edit this. Okay. Now, if this doesn't want to work, I'm going to be pretty mad. Okay, go on to HTML and then fine. And of course, that doesn't want to work either. We will figure that HTML didn't work, um, but I, I basically try to stick to this other site because it's pretty easy to figure out once you're good. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that, um, and go HTML, whoops, you'll see what I'm doing here, I keep creating a bunch of HTML stuff that I don't want, okay, there we go, HTML, create it, um, and basically, Here's your color code, so if you wanted it white, one 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 six ones. Here's the text that it's gonna be, so we can say welcome. Whatever. Works for me. Now another thing you can do is if I can get this stupid it doesn't ever this website sometimes just kinda gets a little whatever. Now they're advertising their custom domain names. And all this crap that you don't necessarily need with them. Now, let's see. Did it open up? Yep, there we go. See our scrolling text? Um, so that's... That's... It's, I mean, it doesn't get any easier. Can you believe it? So, um... And then... We can also change colors and all sorts of cool stuff, so, yeah. And, um, that's just one thing. Now, say I don't even have, do I even have the, uh, I don't. Well, let's just go to photos, I guess. No, I need another website. Okay. I'm going to have to add another page, new page. Music. I'm not sure what I did with that website I had. Um, crap, I hope I didn't lose that website. Let me check. Let me just Google it real quick. Uh, MP3 player embed. Hoping this is it. Yep, here, well, this isn't quite right, I don't think. No, this is for the Google, I want the Flash. Not cool. Okay, here we go. So, basically what you need to do is you need to um, get this WordPress plugin, I believe, 2.0, and then you just get this. And what this is 